Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Subhajit. Welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to use the Sigbar. If you don't know what Sigbar is, then you can think of uh, any music player app where we use the Sigbar to control the duration of the playback. Like so, in this video, we are going to control the opacity of an image view. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the Android Studio. Alright, in this activity main.xml as you can see I'm using the relative layout as the root layout and an image view to display this YouTube logo. Now I'm going to add a sigbar in order to control the opacity of this image view. So angle bracket, sigbar, hit tab, layout width, um, let's say 240 dp layout height wrap content now i will bring this sigbar just below this image view so layout below because we are using the relative layout as the parent layout anyway simply pass the id img youtube now let's align this to center horizontally and set true let's also add some margin to the top let's say 20 dp now just like a progress bar we can also use max attribute but i'll do this from the java class we also have to specify an id id let's say sigbar well now we can move to our main activity dot java class and initialize these two items so here first i will create two variables private image view image view then private sigbar sigbar now let's initialize them inside on create image view equal to find view by id r dot id dot ing youtube then sigbar equal to find view by id r dot id dot sigbar okay now i will just set the max value to the sigbar so sigbar dot set max let's say 100 also if you need to set some default progress value then you can just call sigbar dot set progress and pass the default value let's say 70 anyway as we discussed in the beginning that using sigbar we are actually going to change the opacity of this image view for that we need to set up an interface along with our sigbar so sigbar dot set on sigbar change listener then new on sigbar change listener hit tab perfect as you can see now the interface is actually providing three methods on progress changed on start tracking touch and on stop tracking touch so on progress changed method gets called only when we change the thumbs position and this on start tracking touch gets called when we touch the thumb and this is when we leave the thumb okay so for now we need to work on the on progress changed method and this method is actually providing three different variables sigbar int and a boolean so this int will provide the current progress of the sigbar and this boolean b variable will provide the true value only when we touch the thumb and move to a position anyway now i'm going to update the opacity of our image view based upon this i value which is the progress value itself so let's call update opacity and pass this progress variable although we haven't created this update opacity function yet so let's create this alt enter create method inside main activity 
now in this method we just need to call image view dot set alpha but here we need to pass a float value not integer so in this case we can divide the progress value by 100 like this progress divide by 100 then f so why am i dividing this by 100 because the max value of our sigbar is 100 simple anyway let's just run this code and see what we have achieved till now as you can see we got our sigbar with a progress of 70 now if i move this thumb you can see the change in image view so i think that's it for now guys and i hope you got some idea that when and how to use the sigbar so if you want to know more about the sigbar then don't miss the next video because in that video i'm going to show you the way you wanted to customize the sigbar so thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me here on the daily Korean tutorial channel if you have any questions or suggestions then please leave them in the comment section also if you feel this video helped you a little bit then hit the like button share with your friends and do subscribe for more content thanks again for watching see you soon in the next one